victims. It's pretty routine to appoint a separate representative, just as you said, as guardian ad litem for those future claimants. And so uh, a very natural approach here would have been to appoint an independent representative as a guardian ad litem for the orphan works. Had that been done, God only knows exactly what kind of licensing scheme would have emerged and whether that licensing scheme would have involved an exclusive license or would have involved a broad license. To go back to what Google has said, right, Google is good on this. They're very clear. They favor broad licensing access to the orphan works, and I agree with them. Where would they get the license from? Only, only from the government, only from you or from the courts. So in other words, you're going to bind the United States government the legislative branch to the terms of a settlement that uh, has uh, uh, that is in the judicial branch. I actually think that's a tricky question. That goes back to a little bit to Congressman Sherman's question, which is the interrelationship that he posed to Mr. Drummond, which is the interrelationship between the settlement and then a subsequent legislation, and the extent to which you can overturn that settlement in the in the legislation. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I think that's an interesting well, – uh, I love to write about that kind of question, so I'm excited. Well, I, I think it's hard. I would, I would pose to you that uh, the legislative branch of uh, government is responsible for uh, policy. I agree. And, uh, you know, you hear a lot of people talking about legislating from the bench. This would be a classic case. And, uh, and that's why I'm, I'm happy that uh, you're holding this hearing today uh, Chairman Conyers, because I think that it does give the uh, parties to the litigation and others uh, kind of uh, a bird's eye view of the various uh, issues that are involved here. And also, uh, I doubt whether or not Judge Chin watches C-SPAN, but perhaps in a <laughs> moment of, uh, of uh, pleasure, he might. And. Uh, I know judges are not supposed to uh, uh, look at outside information in making their decisions, but their decisions are based on their experience, their living, uh, their experience. Uh, and so perhaps this, this uh, hearing could be of uh, some interest uh, to the judge. I'm not saying somebody here should uh, pull his coattail and Tell him to watch this later on at night on C-SPAN. But uh, it, it, sweeping scope of uh, uh, this settlement and the uh, significant limitations it places on rights holders who did not uh, opt out, it seems to me, that the settlement is uh, coming very close to whittling away uh, the powers of uh, the United States Congress. The, the treatment of uh, orf orphan works rights holders is a matter that should be decided by Congress, not a group of uh, plaintiffs in a private uh, litigation format. I'd like to know if, uh, if I were to purchase a book through Google service, what would I be getting exactly? Would I be getting um, uh, actual, uh, actually, uh, I could produce a hard copy and keep it forever, or would I just be uh, renting or leasing uh, the book for a certain period of time? How does that work? Uh, sure. So um, two different ways. For many of the books that we have are public domain books, and so we'll allow you to download those uh, and uh, do what you want with them, the digital bits. Um, the in-copyright books uh, will be in the cloud. Think of it as a, a cloud structure. I think Amazon knows a lot about this uh, as well. But you'll, you'll get access to them. Uh, you don't, they'll be streamed to you. They won't be downloaded uh, onto your computer. But you'll, you'll, you'll maintain, you'll get access, uh, you know, sort of once you, you purchase them, you'll have indefinite uh, access uh, to, to the books. Mr. 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 Johnson, if I may, there, one of the future business models uh, reserved to Google in the proposed settlement is for print-on-demand, which, which is a way the publishing industry is going. It's a highly efficient way to uh, make physical books available to consumers, and uh, Google has reserved that to themselves as well. So imagine also these electronic books encompassing print-on-demand books, which would be a physical paper book that you would keep forever. Just so I can complete the thought, that you, you will be able to print out pages uh, from the, the books as well.
So if you want to print out and have a hard copy, you can do that. So that's 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 good. Uh, are uh, books that uh, are reduced to audio format uh, covered under this uh, litigation? I don't, yeah, I'm not I don't think sure what you mean. Well, I mean, can you, when you say purchase the rights to a particular uh, book? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, the only the only thing that's covered in here is it, is the ability to make uh, books under the settlement available to the visually for the visually impaired. And so mm -hmm. beyond that, there's nothing. So this the this does not uh, have anything uh, any uh, uh, implications to, to the uh, to those who produce uh, books that have been um, books on tape. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, it, it's not covered. Mm -hmm. Why not? We just didn't, uh, we, we didn't, didn't cover it. Okay, all right. My, um, my last concern, uh, and I, I would say also that this panel, the, uh, the uh, scope of uh, the intelligence of the people on this panel uh, is just uh, breathtaking. And, uh, Someone mentioned about the, uh, uh, who was it, mousetrap. This would have to be, in order to match you all's uh, intellect and knowledge on this issue, uh, the mousetrap would have to be uh, inconceivable in, in its uh, largeness, in its scope, and, uh, and the, the, the animal that it was seeking to uh, capture would have to be a real, real beast. Uh, to be clear, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that uh, this uh, settlement will withstand uh, a, a separation of powers uh, review on the, uh, on, on the uh, uh, issue of uh, its applicability to anyone other than the, uh, than the uh, parties to the settlement. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it, could you talk about that, Mr. Simpson? Uh, yes, thank you very much. I mean, I think one of the, the tremendous problems here is that the settlement goes so far beyond uh, the original complaint, and I find it particularly ironic that I would put myself in the camp uh, with Google from the beginning of the suit, which is to say that in the digital age, to scan things into uh, a database and offer up snippets uh, is a perfectly appropriate fair use. But what's happened here is that instead of settling that issue, which was what the litigation was all about, We've created a tremendous business, new business model and gone off to areas that I think usurp, as you correctly have uh, pointed out, uh, Congressman Johnson, that, that, that go way, way beyond the, the powers that the party should have. So um, I, I, I think that's a huge, huge problem. And, and were this simply about um, whether uh, uh, serving up snippets in a search uh, is appropriate. I think that that is what the settlement should have been about, and this is this is so far beyond that that it's frankly incomprehensible to me. Well, I tell you, I'm I'm really in awe of the technology that Google possesses to be able to uh, carry out the terms of this settlement, and certainly to uh, my friends who are visually impaired. Uh, you know, I'm glad that relief is on the way, but I'll tell you, if it's only one entity involved, how can you, uh, it's kind of like health care, health insurance. How can you create a uh, competitive environment where you as consumers get the, uh, get the best price? I'm concerned about that uh, consumer protection angle, and uh, with that, I'll, I'll, I do want to say that I'm personally sensitive to the uh, visual 
visually impaired and I certainly appreciate you all uh, coming to express your views on uh, this important topic. Uh, and at the same time, there's a, a, a larger picture out there uh, that we as legislators have to be uh, concerned about. And so we mean no disrespect to you uh, as we oppose this, uh, this uh, type of settlement agreement. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll yield back. The chair would uh, advise our members that uh, we'll have five days to submit any uh,